The best strategy to help you silence fear in your life is to actually have a strategy. Don't have one yet? That's okay. I got you. Right now, you can get my Brave Life Planner for free. Just go to getyourbraveon.info and you can download my morning boot up routine that helps you focus on what you're grateful for, develop strategies and pathways to achieve your goals. And it helps you pick one brave thing a day to do so you don't get so overwhelmed. You also get my free daily planner to help you stay on task. And there's a video that comes with it to walk you through on how to use it. Download it for free at getyourbraveon.info. So you want to experience like real joy, like the kind of joy that no matter what somebody says or does to you, it doesn't affect your ability to smile and enjoy your life. Yeah, me too. Do you want to feel truly confident? Not just confident when you look in the mirror, but the kind of deep seated confidence that you know who you are because who God says you are and you're confident no matter what somebody says or does or even what your own thoughts are sometimes when we look in the mirror in the morning. Yeah, me too. You can get it. This is the meditation to help you feel happy and confident right now. Hey, it's Amanda Carroll. I'm your host of the Get Your Brave On podcast. So glad you're here for episode number 45, the meditation so you feel happy and confident. Think meditation is a little weird? Bear with me. I'm going to explain. So we've been building up to this. Uh, We talked about why we can feel happy and confident because of all the things that God has given us in episode number 43 called practicing presence. If you missed it, no worries. I'll put the link in the show notes for you. And then we prayed to feel like that in episode 44. I'll link it up in the show notes. And then today, episode 45, we're going to meditate and experience it with God. Now, a lot of people think that sometimes meditation isn't something for people that follow Jesus to do, but Jesus meditated. (laughs) It says all over the Bible that he went away before he had any big decision. He went away and meditated before he healed people. He meditated. And now we can't know exactly what it is that he did or said, but I've been diving into this and I found a way to include Jesus in my meditations. It's not weird. It's actually, in my opinion, a deeper way to experience God. Yeah, we talk to him and we say prayers. These are all great. But what if you found a place, a silent spot and just experience time with him. Maybe you didn't even talk at all, but you asked him to be in your presence. That's what we've been talking about, practicing the presence of God, because God says where, when he, we worship, he inhabits the praises of his people and where he is, that's where his strength lies. So if you and I want to live a more strong and courageous life and get our brave on through whatever plot twist that we're going through, practicing God's presence is the secret. When we spend time with him, we get stronger. And I don't know about you, but I realized years ago, most of the time that I was spending with God was me telling him all that I thought he was doing wrong and that I thought he needed to do. It's okay. We've all been there. Instead... I've been learning the practice of meditation. All the health benefits are there. It lowers depression. It lowers stress. It lowers anxiety. It is scientifically a healthy thing to do. And I also think it's a great spiritual practice. You know, part of me wonders if churches will ever integrate this into their prayer services or their ceremonies. Just put on some great music and sit and think about a certain verse ask God into your presence and truly experience him. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Why not? So let's meditate. This is the meditation to feel happier and more confident about your future. So find a place where you can be that is quiet. If you need to put me on pause, go to your spot 
and then come back and hit play. I've got the music for you. You don't even have to worry about that. I'm going to add it in. Okay. And we're going to meditate on this one verse, Ephesians 3.20. Now to him who was able to carry out his purpose and do super abundantly more than we dare ask or think infinitely beyond our greatest prayers, hopes, or dreams, according to his power that is at work within us. I like the amplified version of the Bible. That's the verse that we're going to think about and experience. So go to your quiet place and just start finding a comfortable spot. I think it's great to sit up. Sometimes I lie down, but usually I fall asleep when I do that. So sit up. This is something you want to be awake for. This is an experience with God that maybe you haven't had before, or maybe you love meditation. This is going to take you deeper in your relationship with him. Because in order to feel happy and just experience true joy, in my opinion, true joy is a smile on your face, no matter what craziness is going on around you. And in order to feel confident in your future and where you're going, we have to practice God's presence. And he says, this promise is available to you. It has nothing to do with how good you are or how bad you are or a list of things you've done for him or an empty list or the church you go to or the faith that you practice or the way that you pray or what you don't eat or what you don't drink. This is just you and him. None of that stuff matters. Because if we worried about all of that stuff, that would nullify the sacrifice of Jesus. No, he died for all of it. So if we truly believe that he's able to carry out his purpose, using the word super abundantly, more than we even ask or think, don't you think you could feel really happy when that ex does something mean to you? (laughs) Or that boss makes your day really difficult? But you're believing that God can carry out his purpose and do super abundantly more than you could ask or think. That feels really good. And you believe that it's infinitely beyond your greatest prayers, hopes, or dreams. And you believe that his power is at work within you. So let's experience this right now. So we got to our place. I just want you to start relaxing your body. You just let your eyes close. Lay your hands in your lap. Just uncross your legs. Just be you. Be comfortable. Let go of the tension. Just feel your muscles just kind of loosen up. Take some deep breaths with me. I like to do this little exercise called the 457 where you breathe in for four seconds hold for five seconds and then breathe out for seven seconds doing that three times in a row has a physical effect on your brain where it resets part of your brain that causes stress and anxiety so let's try that and really relax before we start Breathe in for four seconds. Hold for five seconds. Let it out for seven. Let's do that again. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Last time we'll do it silently together. Breathe in. your brain is reset. In this meditation, I want you to think about your dream life. What do you really want to be happy? What would make you feel so confident in yourself and your future and your relationship with God? Do you have it? 
Now in this meditation, we're going to go on a little journey. And I want you to work to try to feel the emotion as if this dream, the happiness and the confidence already exists in your life, in your emotions, in your heart and in your soul. We're going to go on this journey and we're going to feel happy and confident and we're going to practice that emotion. And once you get that smile on your face, that's when you know the meditation is effective. So work with me here to feel it. Visualize the picture of you being happy and confident no matter what is going on around you. True joy. You're laughing. (laughs) You're at a beautiful place that you love. And you feel so good about yourself. You're not worried about anything. And you feel so confident that you're in the right place and your future is so incredible. Imagine yourself right now on your own now. You're in this gorgeous meadow. You're walking on this little dirt path. It's so bright, the wildflowers. They're just like what God says he will do. Super abundantly more than you ask or think. These are super abundant wildflowers. So bright, orange and blues, yellows, red all around you. Just like, wow. You're walking on this path to this beautiful willow tree. And you notice someone's there waiting for you with open arms and you get this feeling it wells up inside of you and you just you can't wait to be there (laughs) and you feel so good you know that once you get to that tree on the path that you're going to be fully accepted just the way you are you start to walk faster oh you're smelling the beautiful wildflowers then you just take off on a run because you realize who's under that tree it's your savior it's Jesus you're there you embrace and he says I'm so glad to be with you I just want to be in your presence and you kneel I just want to be in yours and he takes your hand right under that willow tree and he's starting to show you your life all the dreams that you have haven't quite happened yet all the people that you love maybe aren't even in your life yet all the joy all the moments all the experiences that are coming that you can feel so excited for and so confident in he's showing them all to you Like it's this beautiful IMAX 3D movie. And you're starting to cry and you're saying, Jesus, it really is real. You are able to carry out your purpose. He says, I promised you, I do super abundantly more than you even ask or think. Infinitely beyond your greatest prayers, your greatest hopes or your greatest dreams. You start dreaming and I'll show you what my dream is for you, which is even better. Because it's my father and I's power that is at work within you. In that moment you realize, wow, it's almost like you let go right now. You realize you don't have to do it all on your own. And you just completely submit your soul to him. Just almost buckling. Just going, oh, your will, God. I give myself to you. Show me more. Jesus says, well, just dream with me. And I'll show you how God's power and my power can make it even better. The super abundant kind of dream. 
because nothing you want is impossible. You're my child. Just like any good father would always make it possible for his child to have anything. Don't you think I'll be even better? You got that dream? You imagine yourself so full of joy and what it'll take and that confidence. You feel it yet? And Jesus whispers, almost smiling. He says, yeah, you think that's good. And I can go infinitely beyond that. Infinitely beyond your greatest prayers, hopes, or dreams. According to my Father and my power that is actually already at work within you. You're just so excited. He's showing you more and more and your heart is starting to dream bigger and more and realize everything is possible. Now sit for a moment. Sit down next to Jesus underneath that willow tree and just feel it. (laughs) As if all those things are happening now because they are. You have every reason to feel happy and confident right now. You feel it. Jesus is right next to you. There's nothing you have to do to earn his love. There's nothing you can do to lose it. He's excited that you're in his presence. Soak it up. Soak up the feelings. Feeling happy and confident in yourself and your future. Yes, God. Thank you, Father. Now it's time, Jesus says. Okay, I need you to go about your day and just look for me. I'll be everywhere. I'm going to surprise you. Look for me at work within your day. Look for the good. Give him a hug. And he watches you walk away. Down that path. Enjoying all the wildflowers in that beautiful meadow. Feeling so happy and confident. With every step it's getting more and more. Because you just were in the presence of God. Wow. (laughs) You come to the end of that path. And now you're coming back to awareness from around you. Starting to breathe normally. Move your hands a little bit, twitch your fingers, open your eyes. And go forward with joy. Feel happy and confident. And get your brave on. Thank you so much for your support of the Get Your Brave On podcast. I'd love to connect with you. Call my hotline anytime and let me know how this podcast is impacting your life and how you're silencing fear at 5304 Amanda. Let's connect on socials and get more strategies to silence fear every day on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Amanda Carroll Show. And if you want to go deeper, join my Patreon. You can get daily motivations and prayers and meditations and live videos. Just go to getyourbraveon.info and sign up to be a member of the Get Your Brave On tribe. Join our Facebook group too. Just search Get Your Brave On. And I'd be honored if you would follow this podcast and subscribe and even leave a review. That helps more women just like you facing a plot twist find more strategies to silence fear. I'll shout you out in the next episode or even send me an email to amanda at amandacarol.org and tell me how God is using this podcast in your life like Kim did. She said, I just want to thank you for your podcast. I signed up in July and honestly always deleted your message. (laughs) It's okay. Or sometimes just took a quick glance, but today was different. It was if God was drawing me to really take a look at it. And I did. 
After downloading the app to get a podcast, I went back and clicked on the prayer. As I stood in my bathroom, brushing my teeth, the words just filled the room with a peacefulness. It came over me and it was like a weight had been lifted. The stress of living with a few disabilities and being on long medical leave from work for over a year and the stress of trying to go back to work with homeschooling two kids, I was keeping it all in. I just wanted to know how much you make a difference. I even shared your podcast with my mom, cousin, and brother, (laughs) even though he's not a lady. He's going through a tough time. I wanted him to hear the prayer. So bless you. Bless you. I am so thankful that God used this in your life. You're my why. I'm honored to hear from you. I'd love to hear from you. Reach out anytime. All the links are in the show notes. And I love the idea of you listening to the episodes while you're brushing your teeth. I actually think it's perfect. Start your day with me. So just make sure you follow the podcast so you don't miss an episode. Get your brave on.